My name is Warren Crocs on PhiladelphiaSoul.com and as the Arena Bowl is run around the corner and as the season's just about to end, we talked to some players about looking back upon the season. Oh, it, it means the world to me and my offensive teammates. The Christian Johnsons, the ones that you don't hear about, the Brandon Cavallos, because to them they can always say they help, you know what I'm saying, in their process to get the job done. And luckily it's been working, so just gotta continue forward in this arena bowl. Oh, it means to everything. Some people play all their lives and never get to a, a playoff game. Better yet, some guys play their whole career and not get a championship. You know, great players. So it means a lot to go back to back, especially with this organization and Clint Dozell and Dan Rodabaugh and, of course, Tiger Jones. Man, we've been together. It's been a long ride for us. And we're starting to get some breaks with some of the younger players and everyone's stepping up. And we got back here again, man, and uh, that's fortunate. Happy. Uh, I mean, I knew that was one game away from the championship, so I told myself for the game I was going to give everything I had. So I said I was going to try to make every chance I had an opportunity to make a play, I was going to make that play. And I didn't want to, if that was going to be my last game, I wasn't going to walk away and say I didn't give it my all. To me as a player, I mean, this, this is a great feat. I mean, uh, this is my third year playing in the arena, playing in the AFL, and to be uh, blessed enough to go to two arena balls is, you know, it's great. So I'm not taking it for granted at all, and uh, I want to get the, you know, come back with the hardware. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm blessed to be on this team with the um, players that we have. So, uh, especially the quarterback we have, he's a great quarterback. You know, he gets the ball in my hands real well. And um, it all, it all, we all, we all work together as a team. It's not just, you know, one person. But it feels great, you know, having um, the most catches, most yards, whatever. Um, I know everybody else is going to work hard too. It's been crazy, man. Um, it's been unexpected. Um, you know, I was working hard at home, training, came up here to the open, open workout, busted my butt, uh, made the team, came to camp, worked really hard, and everything's worked out for me. Everything's fell in place, sort of, and I've had great guys, veterans around me to um, lead me through the season. I couldn't be more blessed. I couldn't, couldn't be more happy with where, where I'm at right now and where we're at as a team. Assistant coach Phil Bogle talked about his experiences as winning the Arena Bowl as a player in Philadelphia and now trying to help coach the team to winning the championship this year. Yeah, um, I mean, uh, I love the game. Um, I was fortunate to play here in the organization. Now I'm fortunate to, to coach here. Um, playing, you know, in the Arena Bowl, of course, it's, you know, equivalent to playing in the Super Bowl. This is our Super Bowl. Um, it's a wonderful experience going through it with my teammates. You know, back in 2008, we worked hard and, you know, we earned that ring as a group. I think now it's even more gratifying that I'm able to share that knowledge with our guys telling them, you know, what it, exactly it takes to play together, you know, focus in, you know, to accomplish their goal and, you know, win them a championship as well. And um, we're, we're there to win a football game is, is, is the focus of the week. Um, is we're going down there, yes, it is, you know, the biggest game of the season, um, but we're going down there to win a football game. There will be an extra, you know, hoopla with the media and things like that, but at the end of the week, on Saturday at 1 o'clock, we're, we're preparing to win a football game. And Make sure you check out the Philadelphia Souls. They take on the Arizona Rattlers in the Arena Bowl. The game will take place this Saturday, August 17th, beginning at 1 o'clock on the CBS Network.